Welcome back to Iceberg Airplanes. An Airbus A220 suffers an uncontained engine failure. Airbus A220 operators are being instructed to remove certain full authority digital engine control software and install a new version. After a series of engine failures involving fracture of low pressure compressor rotors. This means that parts of the low pressure compressor that comes before the high pressure compressor have broken or cracked. Four such incidents have occurred, says the FAA in a directive for the aircraft's Pratt & Whitney PW1500G power plant. Three of the incidents, last year in 2019, involved Swiss aircraft. While the fourth last month in February of 2020 for those potentially watching in the future affected an Air Baltic jet. Analysis has indicated that low pressure compressor vane schedules were generating a condition within the engine that led to acoustic resonance and damaged the stage one rotor, says the FAA, leading to its failure. Pretty much this means that the engine was making noise at the same speed of vibration, which caused the first blade of the low-pressure stage compressor to crack. This then disrupted the airflow and made parts of the engine extremely pressurized which led to an engine failure. Interim action had already been ordered for A220s, including limiting thrust at high altitude, to protect the aircraft against uncontained engine failure. But the analysis of the vane scheduling has prompted a revision of the FADEC software intended to avoid the resonance phenomenon. The software is installed to stop this phenomenon, but it sometimes fails and leads to an engine failure. The latest directive instructs operators to remove certain FADEC software earlier than version V2.11.9.2 and install an update. Engines which have accumulated less than 300 cycles must be modified within 15 cycles. Others within 90 days, the FAA states that the failures of the Stage 1 rotors occurred on engines which had been shipped to operators as spares and were not delivered installed on aircraft. Failures occurred within 300 cycles of their subsequent installation. This means that engines that have accumulated a little more than 300 takeoffs and landings are at a higher risk of engine failure. Spare engines which have been newly fitted to aircraft carry the highest risk of rotor failure, the FAA adds. If there are new spare engines on the aircraft then the chance of the system failing is higher. Most operators of the A220 have to place operating limitations on their aircraft to make sure that the engine's compressors don't break. This just means limiting how much power the engine produces and limiting things like altitude, speed, angle of descent, climb rate, and more. Limiting engine power in particular will increase the length needed to take off which slightly limits which airports it can land in. However by putting limitations on the engines Airbus and airlines have more time to work out the issues. Let's hope that Airbus gets the issues worked out and we don't need to worry about A220 engine failures. Do you think that putting limitations on A220s is a good idea? Comment below and stay safe.